Hey, it's Candace with Delaney Electric. Don't mind the mess. I'm moving into a new office, and I haven't quite taken down the, the kid posters that are still up there, although I'm a big Marvel fan, so I may leave that there myself. So today, I want to talk to you guys about heaters. It's winter. It's cold. Uh, sometimes you might have a room in your house that's colder than another, and you want to pick up a space heater to put in there. Uh, space heaters are fine for short periods of time. Uh, we get several calls a year about circuits not working, entire rooms being out of power. And in the winter, the first question that we ask is, are you using a space heater? Basically, space heaters draw a lot of power and they do what is called a continuous draw. So that thing is running and pulling a lot of power for a period of time and your house just isn't meant for that, that sort of load. Uh, especially if you put a space heater on the same circuit as another appliance like your dishwasher or your refrigerator, um, there's a potential it's going to burn up that entire circuit, knock power out to everything, and then we have to come in and pull a new one and you still have a heat issue. So uh, my suggestions to you would be use a blanket if it's cold. <laughs> uh, if you've got your fireplace, utilize that. That'll keep a room warmer. If you have a room like I do, we have a room over the garage uh, that just has no heat and it doesn't have good insulation because the attic's above it, uh, we can install a baseboard heater. And so they can be anywhere from, you know, three to eight feet. It's, you know, a rectangle on the bottom of the wall, it's got a thermostat on it that you can change, and it'll be on its own dedicated circuit. So the risk of it burning something up or affecting the rest of your house uh, is very minimal. Um, it'll have its own breaker, it'll be its own entity, and it can run as often as you want it to run. Uh, but since it has a thermostat on it, it's also going to you know turn on and off uh, as it gets up to temperature. So you know, just a really Real word of caution with the space heaters. Um, they can be dangerous. They can start house fires. Uh, you know, I'll show you some of these outlets that we replaced a couple weeks ago, um, and that's from a space heater. The outlets burned up. Um, it can burn up the wiring in the space heater, and it can also burn up the wiring actually in your house, in the outlet, in the wall. Um, they just cause all sorts of problems, even if they're not old. Um, yeah, the newer space heaters are better, and some of them even have like a GFI, you know, uh, shutoff switch on them if they do start to overheat heater overheating, weird, uh, but better safe than sorry. Don't use them for more than maybe an hour at a time. Um, unplug them when you're not using them. And if you need a continuous heat source, uh, contact you know us if you're local um, or an electrician to install a baseboard heater for you as a better option um, if you don't want to have to redo your, your entire system. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message, shoot me an email, send me a text. Uh, you know the drill. Stay warm out there. We're expecting anywhere between 3 and 12 inches of snow tonight. Um, so hopefully I'll survive the next five days and I'll have another video for you guys next week. Uh, again, this is Candace with Delaney Electric. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.